What's up Minecrafters, so Rob by Fire here. I put a video up about a week ago when I finished Nightmare Realm. And since then I've been working on my base. This is actually on my test world. I copied my base over here to test out some things and I've been working very hard uh, trying things out with Enderman and after seeing what happened with blazes in the nether making it so they won't drop their blaze rods unless you kill them yourself with a sword or whatever you can no longer automate that you can't suffocate them and get the drops I figured you know what They're probably gonna have the same thing happening with endermen and maybe other mobs too so thinking okay well we're probably gonna want to be up separate endermen out or you know you can just create a box where you hold all the mobs and kill all the mobs and kill off endermen in amongst all of that to get the loot but you know how a lot of us are like scientists we like to be able to separate and control our subjects so first of all I brought my mob spawner over here and I did some tests in here uh, taking advantage of the fact that when endermen come into contact with water they will teleport so I was thinking okay I saw a couple of videos a couple of people doing testing uh, Mr. Pixel was doing some of that Pixel Tech and uh, his tests were fairly inconclusive from what I saw uh, now what I found with my testing was even if you go up to the top of the skybox like this and uh, have an enderman spawning pad right up at the top of the sky and put them into contact with water as soon as they hit water they can teleport, teleport right down to the ground so like 64 blocks down I mean well a little less but 60 blocks easily they can just teleport straight to ground level no problem uh, when it comes to horizontally it does seem to be around 32 is their max but 24 they find easy and as you wait make your way up to about 30 and 32 uh, they're less likely to be able to do it before they drown or die from the water contact not drown but still so anyway I tried let me go underground you know so I dug a huge pit and put some water flows coming from the side going straight into lava with a too high gap so that all of the regular tall mobs just go under there and die in the lava and the endermen get stuck against this glass which gives them plenty of time to scan for somewhere to port to now I've actually glassed over this stuff at the moment because I wanted to shut them down while I was doing tests elsewhere but I had a glass platform going across which I raised up and raised up and raised up and raised up and when I got up to 30, 31, 32 then I was starting to see Enderman dying down here from the damage from water before they could find somewhere to port to so it was taking them so long so I figured okay well 32 sounds about right so I imported my funneling system over to here so that they could port up and jump in here I, I lit it all up so that no uh, mobs would spawn inside it and the only things that would get into here would be endermen porting up from below and, and I was thinking well from there you know you're going to want to get them to the surface to kill them or if you kill them then you're going to want an item elevator I don't like the idea of item elevators they make so much noise so anyway it was tiresome testing so I, I put some spawners in here just to see how they fared and you can watch them 
sit down there and they scan and they're looking for somewhere to port to and they seem to be doing okay right now don't see any dying they're all eventually finding to port there's one died but you know this is the thing you want to minimize the loss because normally they are fairly rare spawns so you don't want them dying anyway they're porting up inside here yeah, I haven't closed off the sides properly, but and as you see, they all end up in here, and they end up funneling down into a chamber below, which I figured I would use rail carts to transport them up to the surface. So I figured, okay, well, let me import my base and try and test it out and incorporate it into my base. Now the problem is is that I've got so much stuff going on in there already I had to finagle space. Um, this is what you get from my normal sky mob spawner but what I've done actually it's actually turned on it's turned off in my main world and I'm using the one down here so let's have a look. Now I'll drop all the way down. Uh, and stuff. Not getting any slimes because 1.9 has seemed to have messed up my slime spawning. None of these chunks are producing slimes. And uh, okay. Here's my old pads with the mob evator and the water channels. So I figured what I would do is just come along the side and drop the mobs down into the existing channels using these. If you can see, I've just put a bunch of stairs with pistons to knock them down. Another layer above that. And they kind of zigzag down, you know, end up down towards the stream. And the idea was that from here they would teleport up into the funnel system above, and inside here they would drop back down through the holes below. <coughs> and I would bring them to the surface with rail cars. So it has been really hard work, really complicated because I had all this existing stuff in here to work around and I had to move my elevator. See look, that's, the, that's another problem. <coughs> they can teleport up a huge distance and the thing is is that when they are in contact with water and they go into panic mode to port to the surface they don't necessarily port just the once sometimes they'll teleport up 32 blocks hit a spot which might be on this pad down here and then port again even further they might end up outside there at sea level so, anyway, this is an ongoing project, and I'll come back to you, I guess, when I've got something decent to show you. Say, like, when I finish my rails and stuff. I can actually turn off my top system with lava, and this has a light system, so I can turn off the pads. <coughs> and there's one we've got so far in here. So it does work. Oh and one thing I should just let you know about is in my proper world, my base, I did actually prune the area around my base because I wanted new content and you know mines, all that fun stuff. But I had to go and do loads of spelunking and lighting up new cave systems, ravines, 
mines and it is unbelievable how long that takes now because the, literally the ground is like Swiss cheese there's just holes everywhere and I have since realized while working all of this on all of this that for an area 32 blocks out from this room on each side I'm gonna have to make sure that all of those caves and passages are no more than two blocks high because if there's somewhere to port to other than my funnel they're probably going to end up in there. So this is not bad, I'm getting them in here and if I go AFK for five minutes I'll get up to like 20 of them sitting in here waiting. So it works, you know, the system works, but I don't know if this was the best way to do it. I just recently saw Red Eyes working on a rail system to separate out Enderman, but uh, it relies on picking up all of the mobs in rail carts and then separating them afterwards which that's also kind of a lot of work and a lot of redstone and quite a lot of resources so I mean it's a great idea and it, his system works and I'm, I'm eagerly awaiting his next installment see what he comes up with but uh, I don't know, I was going with the water idea and I have managed to make it work, but let's see, I, I, I'll go back to my proper world and see if I can get decent results and I'll let you know. Alright, see you later.